Jennifer. Yes. We're here in Seattle. You're homeless. Tell me about it. Well, I was in California. I lost my house when the recession was going on. I came up to Washington where my family is. I stayed with my folks for a while. My dad passed away and mom wanted to be on her own, so I moved out. And now I'm here at TC5. And what is TC5? Oh, it's home. It's home. TC5 is a cabin and tent location. We have uh, three dorms for the guys, one dorm for the girls. We've got 27 cabins. Um, they're called tiny houses. We're working on everybody getting electricity eventually so we can get some heat. Um, it's a great place. There's great people. We are very careful about weeding out the troublemakers or the people that want to disturb the camp. We don't put up with that sort of thing. It's a place where you can feel safe and comfortable and feel like family, and we are family. Um, oh my gosh, so how do you survive? Well, tell me about homelessness. What would you want people to know about homelessness that they probably don't know? Um, don't judge the people. They're not all addicts, not all having problems with alcohol. Like, I've never done the drugs or, you know, alcohol or anything like that, so, it's just mad if I'm disabled, I'm waiting for social security, and prejudging, you miss out on a lot of really good people. As I heard on the bus the other day, we're considered, what was it? I know you don't. Excess population. Okay. So they're talking about get, following the rules and getting rid of the excess population. That, you know, isn't, <laughs> that isn't a, mandatory, more problematic than just being people. It's like, they didn't, they don't see us as people at all. You know, we're just excess population, surplus. So, oh. I'm sorry. No, I, oh, that bothers me. Yes. That's why I do what I do. It's the point of this nonprofit is to mm -hmm. give everybody a voice that is experiencing homelessness the best that I can. Right. And, so. Right. You know, the best thing I ever did was come to TC5 and meet a guy like him. He's <laughs> grumpy, but he's really good. <laughs> he's a nice guy. He's got a big people, heart. Pro proud people say the same thing about me. Grumpy, <laughs> but he's really good. <laughs> so, if you had three wishes, what would they be? Um, that everybody would have a home where they could feel safe. And... I don't know. I think just for people who aren't homeless to stop judging those that are. You know, it's not a choice. It's a situation that evolves. We can't do anything about it, but you know, try our best to either get our disability or find jobs. We've got a lot of people here who are working full time. We just can't afford. So if they could uh, cap the rent so people could afford a home, uh, an apartment, something like that, I would wish for that. And just for people to get along. You know, none of this judging and attitudes. You know, people are people, you know, and they don't realize that they can find themselves in the same spot. You know, and it's, like I said, it's not a matter of choice, it's just what it is. So, I wish people would get along, quit judging, help each other. You know, we're not trying to take anything from anybody. We're just trying to survive. So, I wish everybody had a home. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you.